Now, it takes enormous skill to piece together a complex bone fracture in the operating theatre, but using gaming headsets with virtual reality software has given surgeons in Lanarkshire a clearer view of each injury before the patient goes under the knife. They say it could become a game changer in orthopaedic surgery. Our health correspondent, Lisa Summers, has been to University Hospital Wishaw to see it in action. So we're here we have the CT scan of a knee and I can look in and I can see the structure and the fracture. I can rotate and we can, we can plan where we're going to put our plate and we can see through the fracture there. From gaming technology to surgical innovation, doctors here believe they've found an affordable way to make big gains for the most difficult operations, like this one. This lady's got a very complex humeral fracture with an associated nerve palsy, so her hand's not working. Um, but the fracture is broken into lots of small different pieces that are in all different orientations. So with the VR headset, we were able to visualise that beforehand, which is really useful um, in planning our operations so we know where the different bits of bone are. You know, you only get one, ch one chance at this to fix it perfectly. And these complex three-dimensional fractures are not very good to visualise just on an X-ray. Um, so that's where the, the VR comes in for us. This is the patient's 3D scan. Virtual reality gives the surgeons a chance to rehearse what might lie ahead. For the small number of really complicated things where it's a bit of a smashed up mess, it's really nice to get your head around the mess before you start to get your knife around it. Once you've used it, you, you realise how effective it actually is at giving you an understanding of what you're looking at. Surgeries like this are complicated and in this case the patient's going to be in the operating table for around three hours. But the hope is using this technology will reduce the risk of surprises or unexpected complications further down the line. Virtual reality is being increasingly used for a wide range of healthcare purposes. But having doctors use it as part of their pre-operative plans is a first for Scotland. It should have benefits for patients too. But we think that it'll actually help to reduce clinical risk because it should speed up operations. We're giving us a better understanding before we actually start these operations with what is actually needed. We think that we can actually use it for a patient experience point of view to help them as well and actually show people what's happening in the operation in an easy to understand way. This is a pilot project just now with staff gathering data on its success. But it is proving popular with doctors and the board believe that there is potential to extend it to a wide range of operations. Lisa Summers, Reporting Scotland, Wishaw.